Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP and welcome back to another video. Now, if you have a website and you're watching this video, you know how important great images are on a website, but you know it can be hard to find free images or images that you're even allowed to use legally. If you just go to Google image search and just search for things and try to take them, you could end up getting a lawsuit on your hands. So today I'm gonna to show you how to find free stock photos for your website using Unsplash. Plus I'm gonna show you a plugin to quickly import those photos to your WordPress site. And after that I'll show you a search engine that searches over 50 free stock image sites. So you'll have over 1 million images to search over. Uh, but first let's hop in to Unsplash. I wanna show you what this site is. This is one of my favorite free stock photo sites. The best thing about this site is, you know you can use any of the images for free, even if it's a paid project, a free project, any, any use case, you don't have to include credit. It's great. Uh, you can see here, right now I'm just searching the word computer and there's tons of cool images. Uh, of course, it's, it's welcome to credit the artist after you download an image. A pop-up will come up and ask if you wanna include credit for the author of the image, but obviously that's completely optional. Now Unsplash has thousands and thousands of great images, but the one thing that can be hard to do if you have a lot of images you wanna get on your site is quickly bring them over to your site. Of course, I can just go through and download each one individually and upload them to my site like I would any other image but I'm gonna show you a quick plugin that'll easily allow you to import any of these Unsplash images and search them on your site all in one. So you can see right now we're in our test website. So we're gonna go ahead and add a plugin that can be done by going to plugins, add new, and the top right you can search. So the plugin we're gonna be adding is called instant images. And it's the first thing here you'll see by Darren uh, with over 50,000 installs. So let's install it and we'll activate it. Now after activating this plugin, you can go to your media and you can see the option now for instant images. And these are all the images from Unsplash. Of course, you can search here and find images and import them to your media library. But I like to do it within the actual posts themselves. So if we go, go over to pages and we're gonna add a new page and we'll just make a test page. And of course we're using the Gutenberg editor. So let's go and add an image in. And the best thing about this plugin is anywhere that you have a media library option, you'll see this tab for instant images. And you can see now we have all of our Unsplash images here. Of course, we can sort by new, popular, or oldest. Uh, I'm gonna type in Washington, DC. I actually upload my own images to the site, so there's a few images on here by me, so I'm actually gonna pick one of those. Here's an image of the capital I took. Let's add that into the article. Now it will take a minute to download and resize it on your site, so give it a second while it loads there. And just like that, you can see the image is automatically imported into the media library and I can now select it. And the other awesome feature of this plugin is I can also go back over to image, we'll go to media library and go to instant images. And I'll just type in the word coffee and find another image. Now one awesome thing about this plugin is you can also hit this little gear button and you can set the title and alt text before you even upload the image to your site plus change the file name. So if you wanna have your file names be correct, uh, you can do that of course and change the title and the alt text and upload it. And of course it'll take a minute, it'll download it, create the image sizes, and then you have the image in your library. And you can see now we have the coffee image here and we'll select it. And there, just like that, you have the free stock image on your website. And of course you can use this anywhere that the media library is. Uh, definitely a powerful tool. It also includes a second little feature here. Uh, you can see this little lightning bolt and you can pull up instant images while you're actually typing your article in case that's how you wanna find your images and it works the same as the other method. Now that plugin uses Unsplash for all of its images, but if you don't like the images on Unsplash or maybe you didn't find an image that you like, there's also a website called everypixel.com and it actually searches over 50 different stock image websites. You can see here, you can actually pick if you wanna search free or paid. We're gonna search free of course and we'll type in uh, coffee, for example. And you can see it brought back 15,000 images up here. And you can see the sources that it searches here, including Unsplash. So this is definitely the most encompassing way to find all of the free stock images on the, on the web. And of course, if you have the budget, you can do paid or micro stock options and it'll show you the price and things like that. This site makes it really easy to find just about any stock image on the web. And just like that, you now have millions of images you can choose from for your WordPress website. This will definitely elevate your site, especially if you're in the beginning phases and don't have any images of yourself to use, uh, especially because there's so many varieties on here. Um, I like to go in and bring these into Photoshop and even add my own filters and stuff like that, maybe make it black and white for a background, or you can even blur them for uh, other uses in backgrounds. 
And I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out smartwp.com for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. See ya.